job in Paris, uh, in France. I was uh, the guy uh, doing all the jokes. I found the purpose when I started the engineering school in Switzerland. That really uh, drove me uh, in life. I worked in a quite innovative field uh, during my master's, uh, which is uh, called energy tunnels. It's the energy recovery in tunnels uh, to, to manage the heat in those spaces to, to then uh, provide heat to the surface uh, buildings. And afterward, I, um, I was proposed to work with Ecus, do kind of the same stuff, but in, in uh, both engineering and construction companies. Well, it's a small country and half of the country is, uh, is mountains. There was this competition between industry and uh, preservation of uh, surface land. Basically, uh, we were destroying surface land, nat natural land, to build empty factories filled with robots and uh, automatization. So the idea was to, was to say, okay, we, we, we are at a point now where we can actually bury those industries uh, underground. And uh, starting from this idea, this is how we uh, looked for to develop this kind of uh, caverns. This is how we started working with uh, 3D experience in general and Similia in particular. So we provide eco cavern with a fire safety system. And the fire safety system is an oxygen reduction system. So when you have machines, but also when you have uh, robotized production, you will have uh, heat generated from the machines. You don't have uh, lots of ways to deal with this heat. We designed two different uh, heat management system. The first one is a, a prefabricated cladding that was designed with Similia with uh, the parametric design study app to be able to get the, the proper uh, design for each uh, use case. The secondary system that we have is a geothermal loop that is integrated into the structural lining of the cavern. And so we actually use the ground that is surrounding the cavern as a geothermal storage. And this secondary loop really serves that role. So we, we have those two different uh, cooling systems uh, that were uh, designed both uh, on Simulia. And what's amazing with Simulia, your simulation is linked to the 3D model. And the objective is really to adjust the parameters to optimize your 3D model. Once we have one or two prototypes, the idea is really to uh, adapt our, uh, our model and simulation and after two or three caverns, scale in Switzerland, uh, in Europe, maybe on Mars.